Hi, I'm Lisa Baker. I'm the owner of Posh at the Pink. I'm also a cosmetologist and a waxing specialist. Since we are approaching bikini season, I thought it would be a good idea to give you a glimpse of what you can expect if you were to come inside Posh and schedule a bikini wax. So I'm gonna show you with a live model on the table, just a little bit about what we do here at Posh. Gloves on so that the oils from my skin do not transfer onto her freshly waxed skin and cause a risk of infection. So ordinarily, I wouldn't have so much draping in a bikini wax, but since this is a video, I'm trying to be discreet and protect the privacy of my model. So the first thing I'll do is spray just a little cleanser on her. And this cleanser also will remove um, any bacteria and maybe any oils on her skin. So, and we're just doing a bikini wax. So the difference between a bikini wax and a Brazilian is the bikini wax, we're just gonna clean up the edges. And so I always think of that in a way that if she's wearing a swimsuit, we don't want anything to pop out. So her hair is long enough. I can see some shorter hair still. I can see a few right there, but we're gonna try to grab them the best we can. It's a little bit of a challenge for me with all of the extra draping here, but let's see what we can do. And I love this wax that I use, but um, honestly, it takes it a few minutes to sit up, so sometimes I go back and forth with this wax and maybe another wax. And you're gonna notice when I make the pull, she's not gonna jump off the table. She had flinch a little bit. I saw her feet flinch. <laughs> and I just kind of come in a little bit at a time. Um, little, I, I kind of creep my way in. Just kind of depends on too, um, how far in my client wants to come in and clean up her edges. Sometimes, People want quite a bit cleaned up and other times really just just literally the edge but we have a little discretion with that and like I said I am using this wax that is terrific sometimes I use a soft wax sometimes I use a different type of hard wax and what I do is I just look at the hair and the skin type, and I make a determination as to what I'm going to do based off of that. And you can see the skin's just a little red, and that is absolutely normal. She's more fair complected, and her skin might be just a little more sensitive. So I'm gonna try to get this little edge right here. And one thing for sure is I don't like to leave my clients lopsided, meaning I don't like to leave um, a lot of jagged edges or uh, more hair on one side than the other. I, I like balance, so I wanna be sure that she's cleaned up um, on both sides equally. She's doing really good. Did you see her feet flinch? Probably not. And so then I'll, I'll come in just a little bit more 
it's gonna require a little more movement on my model's behalf to come in further. And so I'm gonna stop there because this video is just to show you what it would be like if you came in and got a bikini wax. So then for the top section right here, what I would do is roll this down and then see this top hair right here. I would continue coming down. I'd probably, on her, I'd probably knock it down about a good two inches. And that's what I'll do um, when I turn off the video. And the only reason I'm not doing, continuing with the video at this point is because I really need my model to move her legs just a little bit. And I'd like to protect her privacy. So I'll shut the video off for that section, but then you can see. And this wax is just amazing. If you are at all interested in waxing, you'll be fascinated with the products as well. But so then I'll come in and clean this up in her edges. And after I turn the video off, I will also have her to move her legs so that I can see in between to just be sure there's no hair showing in the center or in the back. So when she wears a swimsuit, there's nothing popping out there. She's done real good. And we're really almost done. A bikini wax only takes just a few minutes. And since we are approaching swimsuit season, I hope that you will consider it. And if you are the client that says, um, my hair is too hard to wax, it's really blonde, um, it's really thick, it's really curly, um, I've had the experience before and it doesn't work for me. If, if you're saying all those things to yourself, I'm gonna ask you to reconsider and come see me. I can guarantee you I will remove that hair and leave you with a good experience. Thank you so much for watching this. Okay, so now that we're done, you can see that um, this model has a very clean shape. All the edges are in. I took off just a little on the top. And so I'm gonna clean her up, just a little cleanser, again, to remove any oils or debris. And she'll, she'll want to keep this area clean for a couple of days. No hot tubs, swimming pools, no rigorous exercise. Um, when she showers, she'll want to be aware of the water that might see, feel a little bit warmer on the freshly waxed skin. Um, don't use any body scrubs, no, nothing that contains a heavy perfume or anything like that because we, the skin is really fresh, the pores are open and we want to keep that from getting infected in any way. And, um, in a couple of days, 48 hours, she will, uh, then want to begin to exfoliate the waxed area and, um, that just keeps the hairs from uh, becoming ingrown. So what you see me doing now is I have just a little bit of oil and I'm gonna tap a couple of areas where there might be a little wax residue. And I'm not applying it all over. The reason is I don't wanna do that to the pores, but also when she leaves, I don't want the oil on her underwear or other clothing, but I can see like there might be just a little wax there that is not coming off with the cleanser. And so with the oil, it'll just slide right off shortly, or even when she hops in the shower later. Thank you so much. This is the end result. And if you will check later in the comments, I will also do a photograph. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that if you've ever considered any type of waxing treatment and have had reservations, that this video has helped you become more comfortable with the idea of scheduling an appointment inside Posh at the Pink. If you'd like to book an appointment, you can do so by clicking the book now button on social media, or you can call or text me at 573-344-2587.